Today we are looking at the life of a 17th century Welshman who started his working life as a shepherd. He bettered himself with education and became a clergyman. In an age when working class people were not educated, he turned conventions around. In the face of opposition from vested interests, he invented the circulating school system and taught thousands of working class Welshmen how to read and write. Griffith Jones was born in a little village in South West Wales in 1683. He was educated at his local school before becoming a shepherd, but he wanted to be a clergyman, so he furthered his education at Carmarthen Grammar School. He was ordained a clergyman in 1708 at the age of 25 years. He then held a number of church positions in villages in South West Wales. He became known as a great preacher and thousands gathered to hear him from all parts of South Wales. He even preached during the week in churchyards and in the countryside, much to his superior chagrin. At the age of 26, he was also a teacher at an SPCK school. SPCK was the Society for Promotion of Christian Knowledge, and Jones joined that society. These schools aimed to teach people how to read and write so that knowledge of Christian literature was maintained. However, funds were limited and the movement was on the wane by the time Jones was a teacher. Government schools for working class people were non-existent. By 1731, Jones was living in Landauror and could not get an SPCK school built there. So he started a circulating school. This school just went for three months and was attended by men, women and children with no reading or writing skills. He taught in the Welsh language and used the Welsh Bible and the Anglican Catechism as his teaching materials. He then extended his schools to other villages. He trained itinerant teachers to go to villages and run his school program for three months at a time during the winter time, when workers were not as busy with farming. Six years later, in 1737, there were 37 Welsh circulating schools boasting 2,400 pupils. Night schools were held for those who could not attend during the day. The idea proved hugely successful, and it has been estimated that around 3,500 schools had been set up by the time of Griffith Jones' death in 1761 at age 78. After some years, the circulating schools were taken over by Sunday schools. The circulating schools and Sunday schools created a huge impetus toward universal education and gave huge support to the Welsh language. Eventually, the government made funds available for schools for working-class people. Jones' circulating schools created a literate and educated population who were learned in Christian doctrines and practices. As such, they were ready for the advent of the Methodist enthusiasts and increased their devotion during the Methodist period. Griffith Jones had a remarkable impact on Welsh and hence British history and helped establish new values for society in Wales. Three years after his death, Catherine II of Russia commissioned a report into Jones' circulating schools with a view to emulating his approach in Russia. We salute Griffith Jones, a man of ideas and influence, a man ahead of his time, driven by his Christian values and outlook to provide education for all in Wales. He was a man who made a huge difference for good.